Speakers Lloyd's Camilla, exhibited by Gre Gregory Evans from Georgetown, New York. 296 was third. That was Old Bankston, Al America, ET, exhibited by Wolf and Ludwig from Epworth, Iowa. Entry 301 was fourth and first junior, and that was Joe Mill, Bradet, Caliente, ET, exhibited by Heater and Valentine from Shade Gap, Pennsylvania. Entry 300 was fifth. 303 was sixth and second junior, and that was Air Jair, DW, Mag Mandy Magnolia, exhibited by Matthew Mitchell and Chaz Boder from Kiwani, Wisconsin. Entry 297 was seventh. Entry 295 did not show, and neither did 299. In the ring now is the junior two-year-old class. <clears throat> Our first place award is presented by Cattle Services Air Limited from Presswick, Ayrshire, UK. The best utter rosette is presented by the Cattle Connection from Amory, Wisconsin. And the junior award is presented by Moore Air Farm, Stephen Pauline, Rebecca, and Emily Schmidt from Delavan, Wisconsin. While judges Ferry and Reynolds are analyzing the heifers walking into the class here to determine their selection of champion Brendon of our heifer show here this morning. We certainly want to introduce those animals competing. Winner of the Bread Owned Award in our Spring Heifer Calf class was entry 452, Vandosky's Denver Carmen, exhibited by Brianne Brooklyn and Reed Vandosky of Cleveland, Wisconsin. Bread Owned Award winner in our Winter Calf class was entry 500, Jay Foltz, Moving Liza, exhibited by Isaac Foltz of North Collins, New York. In the fall calf class, the winner was entry 547, DKH Dempsey Poppy, exhibited by Kelly Wiles of New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Bread Known Award winner on our summer yearling class was entry 576, ZBW M Stop La Quarantina, exhibited by Mason Zimba of Durhamville, New York. The award winner in our spring yearling class was entry 607. RBR FRM Jacoby Crown, exhibited by Addison and Jacob Raber of Gridley, Illinois. And winning the award in our winter yearling class was entry 610. Bella Ridge, Let's Get Tattoos, exhibited by Jacob Logan and Madison Harbaugh and Ainsley Nadella Lair of Marion, Wisconsin. It's quite a feat for these young people, and it's a breeder's dream to be out here on the floor at World Dairy Expo. Let's give these kids a big round of applause for not just exhibiting, but also breeding these beautiful heifers. Let's give our uh, bread and own champions back out that are back out here for their uh, champion bread and own drive a round of applause. This is what, what it's all about, breeding cattle and developing them, and especially when you're able to develop them and breed them to come to this level of a show. At this time, Tyler's going to go out. He'll recognize your champion bread and owned heifer, and uh, once he does so, I'll explain our reasoning.
for us, this spring calf, you love that style, that balance. She's a heifer that combines width and dairy strength and substance and capacity. You get behind her, she's got so much width for her rump, through her rump structure for a young calf. Moves out on a beautiful set of feet and legs. For Tyler and I, she's a heifer we feel is going to grow into a beautiful yearling and the kind that develops into a great cow down the road for this young lady. Congratulations to your champion bred and owned heifer. Congratulations to the champion bred and owned heifer of our 2021 International Junior Holstein Show. She comes from our spring heifer calf class, entry 452, Vandusky's Denver Carmen, exhibited by Brianne Brooklyn and Reed Vandusky of Cleveland, Wisconsin. Our judge has completed his placings in the Ayrshire Junior two-year-old class. Our first junior is entry 319, Cedar Cut PBR Colada Champagne, exhibited by Aaron Curtis Shalock from Casanova, New York. Our third place winning entry is number 314, LEHP Masterpiece, exhibited by Peter Vale from Inglewood, Florida. Second in the class is entry 308, 3JKJ Dempsey Ruby May, exhibited by Joel Gillian and Janelle Koch from Wisted, Minnesota. And winning the class is entry 321, Palmyra Reagan PR Blush, exhibited by Peter Vale from Inglewood, Florida. Congratulations. Judge, your comments. Always uh, uh, an interesting feeling when you don't know your own animal until they read your name over the loudspeaker. Uh, beautiful junior two-year-old to start the class today, a cow that has a tremendous amount of balance throughout, and she wears a very beautiful mammary system between her legs. She's straight and strong over that top line. She has that Ayrshire breed character about the head and neck. She's trimmed through that throat, dewlap and brisket. She's free of flesh throughout. She just has that style, that balance we pay extra for. Her mammary system's high and wide at the top of the rear udder, and and it moves uniformly, that width moves uniformly down the rear quarters to the base of the rear udder. She has an advantage over the cow in second just on that style and balance through her head and neck, the smoothness and blending of parts back through that rump structure and the way she moves on those rear feet and legs. The cow in second follows the pattern though of dariness, angularity, Ayrshire breed character. She's clean, cut, deep and open. She has a tremendous width and height to that rear udder, fullness and firmness to the top of the rear quarters and that fullness and firmness place her over the third place heifer. Uh, heifer in third, we love the length of body she possesses from end to end. She's just uh, it's about six inches longer than every other heifer out here. And uh, a heifer, you love the, st the side profile, the style up through the head, the length of neck, the size and scale. A heifer that we'd like to make her walk a little bit more comfortably on those rear feet and legs, but it's that size and scale that place her over a beautiful June or, or summer junior two-year-old we have following her out here in fourth. This heifer in fourth, we really love the angularity, the femininity, and we certainly think that she has got a lot of potential as she moves into the, uh, into the higher Sarah, the older senior uh, cow classes as she ages. But her dariness, her angularity, her cleanliness, and her height and width, and width to the top of the rear udder attachment, place her over a strong-bodied, smooth-blending heifer following her in fifth. Fifth then over six, it's that size and scale, that strength and power, that length of body, that depth and openness to her heart girth and width of chest that places her over the heifer then that follows her out in sixth. The heifer in sixth, we love the dariness and angularity from the side profile. We'd like to make her near, more nearly level on that other floor. She has that forward tilt. Like to tuck those rear teats in underneath the rear quarter a little bit more squarely. It's that angularity though and that height and width at the top of that rear udder attachment that places her over the big framey heifer we have following in seventh. Beautiful cow we have in seventh, a heifer we'd like to see a little bit more well-balanced in her rear, rear quarters, but certainly gives you a beautiful high-style uh, high side profile. It's that style and balance that place her over the cow behind her. A beautiful class of junior twos. Uh, a, beautiful, uh, a beautiful group of cows from end to end. What a great class for the Ayrshire Show.